So first of all, to create a Creo model, you go on New, you give it a name, you click OK, and then to set the units, you go on File Prepare Model Properties, then you go Change on Units. You select the unit you want. For me, I choose MKS because I use this unit in my MATCAD model. You go on set, click OK. Now you can verify units are set. You close. So now you go on sketch. You select your plane. You go sketch. You can go on sketch view. With this tool you will be in front of your plane, so it's easier to draw. You go on rectangle, you select the origin and you draw your rectangle. Then you click OK. The dimensions are not important now, so you give it any dimensions. For the extrusion, you write what you want. I write 300, then enter. So now you have your your model. Now you go on model intent parameters and you create a new parameter. You call it L. You give it a value and W, you do the same, you give it a value and then H, and you give it a value don't forget the scale uh, because if you want to to multiply dimension by 2 or 3 to to have a bigger model you can do this with the scale so I'll give it 1 to avoid changing dimensions now you go on Edit definition for the sketch. You write H for the height and W for the width. Don't forget to use the same characters than you have written in your parameter table. Then you click OK. Now you have your your beam. And then for the extrusion, you do the same, you go on right click, edit definition, you write L on this case, you select yes, now you can zoom in, so now you have your beam with the dimension you entered in your parameter table. So if you change any dimension in your parameter table, the dimension of the beam will change. I will show you in the third video using parameters from MATCAD. So we will change any dimension in MATCAD and we will see our model change in Creo.